Harbor pilot transfers are becoming increasingly common here in the U.S. It's something that is relatively new to the United States. Uh, however, increasingly these organizations are looking at some substantial benefits from using helicopters to using just vessels and augmenting their vessel fleet, uh, making it a little bit more helicopter centric. We can take uh, the template we've used here, we can move that anywhere in the country. Uh, to, uh, to an operate, obviously it would be a much smaller operation with harbor pilots. Uh, I'm not sure how many pilots, harbor pilots would actually have at each location, but certainly not the numbers that we have here uh, in New England for the, for the two wind farms that we are currently working on. So uh, yeah, I think we're best suited for that. One of the huge benefits is time. Being able to save the amount of time it takes to fly out to the vessel rather than a pilot take another vessel out to their freight ship. It can cut down 50 percent depending on how far the vessel is at. So on Wednesday we went out and did some simulated transfers to a large row row or roll on roll off vessel uh, that was offshore coming into port. Uh, it was a pretty neat exercise. Uh, we were able to use the AW169 uh, which is a really spectacular helicopter for doing that type of transfer. In position alongside the, the vessel, uh, and then sliding in, lowering them down, and then sliding back out. The whole thing can be as little as about a minute, minute and a half. With all of our hoisting experience that we have, it's something that we feel like we're uh, best suited for in, in the U.S. If you look at all the uh, hoist cycles we've completed with the technicians that we're taking offshore, I think we've done well over 150, maybe 200 trained personnel now. I don't even know how many hundreds or more of hoist that we've done offshore to the uh, wind turbines themselves. And these technicians came to us without any prior hoisting experience and now we're hoisting them on a daily basis. So the vessel pilot transfer is somewhat similar to our wind turbine technician uh, transfers. It's just a, a different platform that we're hoisting to. It's all the same procedures inside the aircraft, same hand signals, same conning commands. It's just we're hoisting to a a vessel, a very large vessel, rather than a turbine. If a new harbor pilot saw the helicopter operation and came to me with concerns about danger, I would explain to him, with the helicopter, we have two crew members who are always monitoring uh, wind conditions, weather conditions, visibility conditions. I would also explain their exposure next to the ship is much less in a hoisting operation. You would be there for maybe 15 seconds. You'd be unattached from the helicopter where as per a pilot boat, sometimes you're there for 20 minutes, 30 minutes alongside the ships. And we don't deal with some of the environmental factors that they do. They deal with sea state. Uh, they deal with winds a lot more than we do, where they have to position ships certain ways because of winds. Um, and sometimes we get to land on deck and just drop them right off. They get to step right out and be on their ship and off we go. If I was to make an aircraft specifically for harbor pilot transfers, I would design the AW169. It is perfect in almost every respect. The size is just right. The cabin is just big enough uh, to take the types of passenger load that you're looking at, you know, somewhere from one to four. It's not too big, it's not too bulky, it's not too expensive. On the other side, you have a tremendous amount of power. Helicopter is extraordinarily powerful with tremendous single engine OEI, which is say uh, one engine and operative out of ground effect power. Put simply, uh, it is able to hover on one engine the entire time the operation is being conducted. 